morning guys. So, uh, I'm testing this foldable solar panel by uh, a company called Big Blue. So I've tested it quite a lot. It's quite small, it's quite rugged, it's partially waterproof as in the, the panel section of the construction is, is waterproof and it has a relatively high output of power in that it can produce four amps when in full sunlight. So I'm just going to have a look and right now as it is it's producing 3.4 amps so let me just get the thing get the camera and maybe take you closer and show you what it looks like and and uh, the setting that it's in and so on the the main reason i'm testing is because i'm i'm planning to go on a sort of unsupported trip which could be a couple months long and I haven't specifically tested it with my electronics yet. I'm not just I'm not really testing the panel itself because I, I have already tried the panel, but I'm just trying it with various devices. Like I needed to power my phone and a camera and uh, stuff. So in any case, you can see the sun there, and you can see my breakfast coffees there. I'll, don't worry, I'll pick them up. I just moved them. I wanted to get them out of the frame and yeah so not anything really complex about the uh, use of the thing which I like very much the main thing is to hang it perpendicular to the Sun so as you can see the Sun is a little bit you know obviously angled and as it stands 3.4 uh, um, amps which is a lot your average phone will charge nowadays with about two amps maximum at charge so uh, 3.4 is pretty good i got it running into these two battery bands if i just take this uh, stick and my usual high-tech approach how did i do it before it always, it always works like that. you do it well there we go um so just that little thing will have changed the amps up from 3.4 to 3.6 in terms of material quality, obviously it's a, it is an electric device, so you know, so it's not going to be super rugged like just a standard mechanical device. But the the nylon fabric that it's made out of is, is very thick. Like, you know, I would accept a backpack made out of this nylon for use with sort of regularly 15 and 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 occasionally 20 kilos of weight. Instead of saying denier, I would say that you could expect a relatively tough outdoor construction. Like a like a tent or a shelter or a pair of uh, pants or jacket or even even work gloves to be made from this fabric. It's quite thick and quite tough. Apparently, the device is waterproof up to here. There's there's two things that I think that they that they messed up. First of all, if this is not waterproof, then <laughs> you know what the you know why why isn't it waterproof? It's not that hard to make it to make a waterproof thing. I understand if the connections are not waterproof, but you could give me some kind of waterproof or at least water repellent connection, or at least something which is geometrically positioned such that it's not gonna take water in. And that leads me to the second criticism. These ports point this way. So if you have a large battery bank in there, they push upwards on the port and create you know, a leverage inside the port, which you don't want. So long story short, this thing should be facing that way so that the cables come out here. If this is not waterproof, then at least have it turned so that the openings are facing down and you can hang the thing up like this on a tree or whatever and at least the water will run over the cablings. You can put a bag over this or something. The problem is they've put this here on the side, meaning that you can either have this up, this side up, or you can have this side up, either way, in rain the same percentage chance is going to exist that water comes in here because these ports should be facing down relative to the water and the other thing which is a minor gripe they didn't put eyelets at the top so you can't hang the thing vertically so basically you're restricted in use that if you want to use it outside you have to connect this to a top make sure that this part is out in the sun and let's say it's raining and make sure that this part is under the top so you yeah okay fine you you have it you have a poncho it has a connection point here and here and you tie 
these eyelets to those connection points and that should keep it in, in line with the edge of the poncho. That's great. Problem is then, they didn't give you the eyelets, so you got this thing inside, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep hanging down and you're going to have to prop it up to make sure, you know, water runs downwards. So they should give you an opportunity to fasten the non-waterproof section in a way that is above whatever water is running. So that... That I find to be one criticism. I will just install eyelets myself. And yeah, other than that, if you have a big battery bank like this, the reason that I can't fit it in here is, see, it, it pushes up on the cable if it's in there. And I don't want that. So either way, you're probably going to be better off having your battery banks with a, around a 50 centimeter USB cable because um, anything less is a bit, a bit uh, difficult to to maneuver with uh, and anything longer is going to lose more uh, power in transmittance so you probably end up with a 50 centimeter cable like this black one and then you'd have this at the edge of your shelter the panels on the, on the outside probably I guess staked to the ground or, or something so that they're perpendicular to the sun and then you'd have this cable so that your your battery bank is inside like as far in away from the rain as possible and Again, the missing piece is these eyelets. I guess they just didn't want to spend the money on the manufacturing, but definitely I'll install some. In terms of weight, it's about 600 and, and uh, apparently 609 grams. And in terms of size, it is, well, I can tell you that this is a Euro standard container. So this container is uh, 40, wait, 40, yeah, and 30 centimeters uh, in, in dimension. I have still a sticker on here, so you could maybe it'll. I don't know if it's going to focus, but yeah, 40, 30. So basically, it's 30 centimeters wide, and about if this is 40, this is about 60 or 70 centimeters long, which is fine. You could hang it on a backpack. Um, you could hang, hang it on, on a bike like this. I think if I was to use it long term, I might even make some kind of like fabric, some kind of. Uh, a rod that can just be supported in this position because I would ride I would be fine to ride with it like that so I've moved the thing a little bit in summary what do I think about it is it good first of all I think it's good you, sh you could definitely buy it it's it's lightweight it's um, it regu it reliably produces a lot of power it's quite packable it's not the most packable thing but it's quite packable it's reasonably priced it comes from a company which make a lot of them so if you buy it with a good you know guarantee like from Amazon or something if you have a problem with it you can get a, a replacement the Sun has risen slightly it's it's 11 o'clock in the morning so the Sun is higher and it's producing 3.9 uh, amps which is just basically great so in terms of power production I'd say basically 10 out of 10 because you can't get much you know 3.9 out of 4 is just great in terms of like ruggedness High, high, high rating, 10, maybe 9 out of 10. It depends on how you exactly want to use it. I have to use it with these large battery banks because I have, you know, I need this 56, so what is this, 22,000 milliamps. I need that at least because I'm, that's just what I need. So for that, it's not ideal. Basically, if you're charging something that is away from the panel, you might as well get a four panel system, 28 watts, forget about this top piece because you don't need the top piece unless you're charging on the on on the actual top piece and you're going to use this this pouch which i will probably never use because my phone is also too big for this thing and then they threw in some you know, carabiners to convince you that i mean this is a you don't need these huge carabiners you know this is like a 10 kilo or 15 kilo carabiner but more even. So you're, you're going to use this to carry this thing, which weighs 600 grams. That's not a that's not a smart system. That's just them throwing in some cheap stuff that they have extra. But then again, I'm cynical. Oh, it just went up to four, by the way, for a second. So it can hit four. So 10 out of 10 for power production. It's on four right now, actually. That's very interesting. Let me just show. Yeah, I don't know if that's exactly focusing, but yeah, four. Uh, the sun is 
so as the, as the sun goes higher up, it gets uh, gets more power. But yeah, again, look at this. This thing is as thick as my finger, you know, which is the same thickness as about three of these panels. So when you fold this up, let me just fold it up now, show you how it actually looks. So when you fold it up like this, this thing is, this, this charging block is as thick as these these panels so they've almost doubled the height of the packs of the pack unit in order to give you a charging block which I don't really think works because it's too big it should be half of the size and it should be some way that you can orient it so that it can actually be used properly in the rain so I would say that probably the ideal thing unless you're gonna have unless you've got a small phone which charges in this in this pouch but then again, they make this a high capacity, a relatively high capacity solar panel. So they've made a high capacity solar panel with a pouch that cannot take high capacity battery banks. Which is dumb. There is no other way to say it. It's wrong, right? Because it doesn't fit, the concept is mixed. The, the, use, the use case is mixed. You should use a high capacity thing to charge a high capacity power bank. So I would say the ideal thing that you should get. I would, firstly, I would say this is a good product. I don't regret buying it. I got it on a Black Friday deal in any case. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than I want, but I can't, I mean, I kind of like knowing exactly how much power it's producing. It lets you orient it, you know, perfectly with the sun and all that. But the best thing to get would be high quality panels, strong material construction, eyelets on each corner, no top piece and having the USB ports on the back or in some otherwise waterproofable way. Because that's the biggest drawback I can see for myself with this panel. I'm gonna have to really fiddle around to get it to be usable in rain because they didn't give me an easy way to, uh, to, to orient it in, in rain. So my suggestion to you would be whatever you buy, however many watts you need, buy something that doesn't have this stupid ass top piece. Because to me, this looks like a branding tack on. I mean, I can understand it's, it's useful as an accessory pouch. So if you want to have like rope or something, something specifically for mounting this, then that's useful. But the f they're not putting in the eyelets at the top. That's lazy in my opinion. And this, this massive charging block, I mean, I don't know if you've realized or if you've noticed, but I don't like it. It's too big and it faces the wrong way. Look at these idiots, soccer idiots. So I just uh, making an insert here. Still running on four uh, four amps. Been running four amps for an, uh, the last hour or so. So as the sun gets higher, it becomes more efficient. Uh, yeah. In conclusion, the best thing would be to have these four panels, eyelets on each corner, and this top panel, which is a goddamn nightmare. I've come. I've thought about it for the last hour since I stopped filming and it is just a goddamn nightmare it's terrible everything is wrong about it and I now hate it the best thing would be four solar panels eyelets each corner and on the back the USB port at the bottom so that it's waterproof the wire is going down because insulated cabling is waterproof anyway so you just need the connection box around here and the wires running down you can run them wherever you want into a dry bag whatever your, your story is and then you have a little spot where you can clip you know a, a stick or something like that because I can see that basically this is just an item that you want to keep perpendicular to the sun at all times and you want to cable away from the actual panel itself and have your batteries or whatever you're charging in a, in a totally different place because then they're protected and you can make sure that they're in a waterproof bag or whatever you want so this idea in my opinion rubbish just totally rubbish i think they maybe thought it makes it look bigger or they had to buy something this long or whatever but this contraption at the top do it could be useful to some people but there are so many things that are wrong with it even if you use this pouch the cable should still go down and then you could just turn it around and wire it back into the pouch it doesn't have to go directly into it so this whole interaction between the cable and the pouch is wrong and the size of it the height of it is wrong the bulkiness of it is wrong uh it's just wrong it should be at the back of the panel that is where it's going to have a chance to be waterproof they use these kind of teardrop-shaped plastic 
constructions on cars and you know trucks all the time to make little waterproof places for LED lights and stuff even though the lights don't need to be waterproof so would I buy it again I think no I think the next time I, I would buy something without this top paddle because it's starting to piss me off the more that I think about it the more angry I am about it so I'm gonna try to not think about it and maybe I'm gonna drink another beer because yeah these idiots playing soccer I was first initially at that table and I had a whole thing set up you know with my bike and this power thing and like all well, my breakfast I had a whole bunch of meats and and stuff that I was eating a whole like a whole sort of cut up meats and you see that table right there next to the that's where I was at this table right over here okay and then these soccer came in and four of them just started undressing at the table and look behind the table you know there's there's 10 other tables right there 30 meters away that they had to walk past to get to my table where I'm sitting with my bike and electronic devices these dumb f**ks came in here got to play football and uh, you know there they go yeah, he has to go get the ball now yeah I get it anyway yeah let me go back to the, the artistic outro hang on a second where's the sun so, where's the sun there it is all right well there's the sun okay bye bye